What season of life are you in right now with God? Listen, we are going to go through many different seasons in this life. That's just the facts. That's just the way it is. We're going to go through seasons that are good and seasons that are hard and seasons that are difficult and seasons that are frustrating. But as long as we as Christians keep our focus on the Lord and remember that the Lord has good, good plans for each and every one of us, that will help us overcome the difficult seasons in our life. Listen, Ecclesiastes 3.1 says, there is a time for everything in a season for every activity under the heavens. There is a season for everything. And sometimes with the Lord, we go through dry seasons. I know, I don't like them either, but I've been in some dry seasons. I've been in seasons where I'm literally screaming inside and maybe sometimes outside, God, where are you? Because I just feel like he's so far away. Like he has no idea what I'm going through and this season of my life has just been so difficult that I have to think, well, he must have just abandoned me. The Lord left me to fend for myself. And it must have been something I did, or maybe I committed a sin that caused him to get angry at me. Listen, none of that is true. That is all lies of the enemy because scripture says that the Lord will never leave you nor forsake you. That even when we are faithless, he remains faithful because he cannot deny himself. That is the God we serve. When we understand that no matter what we are going through, God's presence, God himself is right here with us and sees everything, it helps us to go through things with a lot more courage with a lot more strength a lot more endurance we, if we were to go through things so i think about non-christians and i think about situations they go through when they don't have any hope of anything getting better you know when they don't have any hope of eternal life you know think about that they lose somebody and they just think that's it like that person is gone, never to be seen or heard from again. I mean, what a sad and hopeless way to live. But as Christians, we have a hope that goes beyond our earthly senses. When we live our life with God in eternity in mind, God's character, God's faithfulness, God's love, God's endurance, we can overcome the most terrible situations because we have hope for a future. We have hope that things are actually going to get better. So I think that all of us can agree that as life goes on, we find ourselves in many different seasons. And sometimes we experience these seasons of dryness, even though we are Christians, even though we feel like we are faithfully pursuing the things of the Lord. Still, we find ourselves in these dry places. That, my friend, is called the wilderness. Now, I don't like it, and I'm assuming you don't either. But God never wastes any moments, any situations or circumstances in our life. Never. He will never waste something that we go through. You know, I heard people say that long ago before. No, I guess I had just become a Christian, but you know, they kind of told me that God would never waste anything that I had done before becoming a Christian. And at first I didn't see it because I was in my late twenties, almost thirties by the time I became a Christian. And during that time when I was a non-believer, I done many things that I thought were worthy of honor or just worthy to be remembered and valued. Like I spent 12 years in the self-help market, like learning about emotions and about the power of the mind and about focus and discipline. And I can now see that that time wasn't wasted. 
Like God has used that. He's used some of the things that I learned back then, some of the techniques, you know, some of the strategies that I learned back then. I actually apply them still today. So that time was not wasted. So I just want to encourage you to remember who you are living for. You are living for God. You are living for an audience of one. So when you find yourself in difficult situations, I don't want you to run to people. And I certainly don't want you to run to the internet. I want you to run straight to God. I want you to run straight to his word. I mean, I want you to run straight to your knees and pray and pour yourself out before the Lord and allow him to take you through the process that he had you going through with grace and mercy and peace. You're not going to find that stuff in the world. Now, I know the world claims that it can literally fix any problem. It can, it has a solution for every issue. It has an answer for every question that we ask. And that's simply not true. We as Christians must be dependent on the word of God for everything. The word of God is our very oxygen. The word of God is our life. The, the word says that the word is alive and active. So if we live out the word of God, we are living our best life possible. Now, I tried to live my best life possible when I was going through the self-help market. Like, I literally drove myself in the dirt trying to transform myself into a better person, trying to be more disciplined, more kind, more loving, more joyful, more peaceful, more thankful. And it was a losing battle. Like, I could not indefinitely control myself. I would fail and fail again. And then I would get angry. And then I would just be caught in this vicious cycle of, you know, try this, fail, try this, fail, try this, fail, until I came to know the Lord Jesus Christ. And he transformed me from the inside out. He gave me this inner peace that passes understanding that nothing can take away and nothing can replace. And he has given me this love for myself and for others that I just could not manifest on my own. And he's given me this compassion, this grace, this mercy, this empathy for other people that I cannot fake, right? Like these are qualities in me that I cannot fake. And I could not have transformed myself into this person. I could not, I meet people or not meet. I see people that have known me for years and they don't know who I am. You know, they know that I am a totally transformed person in all glory goes to God because he is the one who transformed me. And he is the one, the only one who can transform you from the inside out. Do you want to be transformed from the inside out? then get into the word of God and allow his word, renew your mind to give you new thoughts, new actions, new words to speak his word. He will do it. He is faithful. It doesn't matter how far you went. It doesn't matter how bad you think you are. God's grace is sufficient for you. Amen. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much, Lord, for your word. We thank you for who you are. We thank you that you love each and every one of us individually and specifically so that our relationship with you, it's unique. Like you do not have the relationship that we have with you with anybody else. And Lord, we just thank you for such a personal relationship. Lord, I pray that each one of us would surrender ourselves to you, that we would get into your word and allow you to transform us from the inside out. Lord, we just thank you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope that video encouraged you today. 
If it did, please like and subscribe and share a comment and subscribe to my newsletter below so that you never miss an encouraging word. All right, take care. I'll be back next Wednesday. God bless.